Hi, I'm Buckwheat. Remember me? Buckwheat? What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're going to talk about Buckwheat Cereal. This cereal was released by General Mills back in 1971. It was a fairly simple concept. Flakes made of wheat and buckwheat with a maple glaze to them. Now, I'm not an agricultural expert, but according to Wikipedia, buckwheat is a plant cultivated for its grain-like seeds. It's not really a wheat or a grass. It's more commonly related to sorrel or rhubarb. They consider it a pseudo-cereal because its seeds' culinary use are the same as cereals. Even though it's called buckwheat, it's actually gluten-free, so it can be eaten by those with wheat allergies or celiac disease, although it is quite often contaminated by wheat since it's usually processed alongside it. Now, cold, ready-to-eat breakfast cereal Cereals made with buckwheat have a heartier and rich taste to them. This buckwheat cereal was commonly compared to a darker, richer version of Frosted Flakes. Or some people refer to it as a sticky Wheaties, which is probably a better comparison since Frosted Flakes are made of lighter corn. Anyway, here's an early commercial for buckwheats for when it first came out. Buckwheats in the morning, let it flavor up your day. What a cereal, buckwheat, and maple taste back. New England breakfast taste, let it flavor up your day. The New England flavor of buckwheat and maple, now in a breakfast cereal. Buckwheats, with all these important vitamins and minerals. Buckwheat and maple taste, let it flavor up your day. Buckwheats. So you can see they brag about the cereal's New England roots with that maple syrup flavor and the buckwheat. They also boast about the high nutrition of this cereal, which you can see clearly here on the front of this box as they plaster this high nutrition cereal right there on the front. You have the Buckwheat's logo here, which has a little stalk of what looks like wheat, which is kind of weird since we already established that buckwheat isn't really a wheat. However, looking at the ingredients here, whole wheat is still listed as the first ingredient, so buckwheat plays a supporting role to that whole wheat. You can see what a bowl this stuff looks like there on the front of the box, and it looks like there's some peaches there in that cereal. That's kind of an interesting topping. I mean, I love peaches, but usually you see like bananas or berries in the cereal on the front of the boxes. This box has a 10% coupon on the back there's no fun prizes or toys inside so it's clearly not marketed to kids something that's also evident from the back of the box here you can see that once again they are touting the nutritional value of the cereal no games or anything on the back that's the easiest way to know who the cereal is aimed at nutrition facts means adults games or activities that's for kids. Now, I did find a box of buckwheats online that featured a price or premium. Still not aimed at children, but kind of cool to see what they thought would entice the adult market. You can see this one offered a limited edition wildlife print by artist Les Kuba, specifically commissioned for buckwheat cereal. If you send in two proofs of purchase and $3.50, you could get an 18 by 22 print of this old mill buckwheat field. Now, I didn't know who Les Kuba was, so I had to look him up, and apparently, he was known for popularizing wildlife art in the early 70s. I found a few versions of this print online, anywhere from seven bucks to 40 bucks. Speaking of bucks, there was plenty of commercials for this cereal in the 70s, but there was one in particular that had this catchy pass the buck jingle. Given the big bold buckwheat's taste at breakfast. Pass the buck, pass the buck, pass the buckwheat. Get your family into buckwheats. It's the only cereal made with buckwheat and the crisp snap of maple flavor in big crunchy flakes. What a taste! A great tasting part of a complete breakfast. Pass the buckwheats. Pass the buck. Pass the buck. Pass the buckwheats. So this cereal lasted throughout the 70s and I feel like it was pretty popular. But then toward the end of the decade, General Mills did the unthinkable and changed the recipe. You can see them promoting the new buckwheats in this commercial from 1980. Of all the breakfast cereals on the market today, over a hundred of them all together, only a very few are high nutrition cereals. New buckwheats is one of them. And among the high nutrition cereals, only buckwheats has a great new <coughs> touch of honey taste. Mmm. -mm. Nice touch. So. For high nutrition and great taste, New Buckwheats, the only high nutrition cereal with a touch of honey taste. So it looks like they swapped out that maple syrup flavor for a honey flavor. And apparently that didn't sit too well with people. I've read plenty of comments on the internet of people complaining about the change to the honey recipe and how it was inferior to the original maple syrup one. Not unlike the people who complained about the monster cereals being changed from that delicious oat recipe of the past, to the corn recipe they use today. Now, I'm not sure if this change in Buckwheat's recipe contributed to lower sales, but it was discontinued sometime between 1983 and 1985. Some people claim 83, but there's a Mr. Rogers episode from 1984 that still features some Buckwheat cereals on shelves, which doesn't mean it wasn't already discontinued the year before, and those were just the last boxes on shelves. But without a confirmation from General Mills, I just can't be sure of the exact year. Now, unfortunately, I don't have an unopened box of this cereal, so I can't show you what the flakes look like. However, there is a cereal out there right now that might be able to replicate the great 
great taste of buckwheats. A company called Arrowhead Mills makes a handful of rather plain, healthy cereals, and one of them is called Maple Buckwheat Flakes. Now, as you can see here, this one is completely gluten-free with no wheat, it's just buckwheat. It also has a lot of organic ingredients, as you can see there, it has organic maple syrup in there. So technically, it's probably not the same as buckwheats, which use predominantly wheat flour. But for me, this seems like it's more in the spirit of what actual buckwheats should have tasted like. Let's open it up and take a look. So here's what a bowl of maple buckwheat flakes from Arrowhead Mills looks like. You can see the flakes aren't actually that dark in color. They look crispier and lighter than Wheaties or Wheat Flakes cereals though. You can see they do have a little glaze to them. That's that maple syrup there. They say this is a low fat, cholesterol free, whole grain cereal that's reminiscent of grandma's buckwheat pancakes with maple syrup. Sounds like a winner to me. Let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. Mmm, those are some good flakes. I really like the maple flavor and the flakes are crispier and sturdier than Frosted Flakes. You can taste the buckwheat there. It's kind of a unique and different flavor. I would probably add some raisins to this or some fresh fruit just to kick up the sweetness a little bit. I don't remember buckwheat cereal because I was too young when it was still on shelves, but I'm just gonna pretend this maple buckwheat flakes is the rightful heir to the buckwheat throne. This stuff is pretty good. I might have to add this to the weekly rotation. All right, well, that's gonna do it for buckwheat cereal. Did you used to eat this stuff back in the day? If so, let me know and share your memories down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. Working for now.